It's got to be raining down here if I'm going to work. <laughs> if it's not raining, we're not training. If it's not snowing, we're not going. Hey everybody, welcome back to Life in the North 40. I'm Rick. And I'm Brittany. Today we're super excited on part three of our series of our off-grid dry cabin in the Rocky Mountains to show you our progress. We have a beautiful sunny day finally, blue skies and dry, to dry this baby out. Got a little yeah. damp down here. So let's take a look at what we did. Perfect, let's go. I think that'll be about right. And this is gonna just give us added strength. Good to go. This makes me feel a lot better, a lot more confident, especially on the uphill side. So this was a borderline cluster screw. This was this was Murphy's Law right here at its finest. We're doing our joist hangers. Last time we put our five inch screws from each end just to get the floorboards in or the joists in, get it plumb level and locked in. We cannot put joist hangers where we uh, notched our six by sixes and had them adjacent to our floor joists. We've got already three uh, five inchers coming into our double two by six uh, 16 runs. I'm gonna put a couple in from our joist sides as well today since I cannot do a joist hanger. We've got a screw from this way, five inch, and I've got three five inches going in here. So now we can do our joist hangers everywhere else. Done. We're about three days from the first day of summer and I'm just getting back down here. We've had so much rain in the North 40 that it has just been muddy and there's been flood warnings. So we just had a really good wet spring. Finally getting back to it. We're gonna get that deck on, get the deck footers poured, dug, uh, and then get it posted and frame that deck in and hopefully get the stairwell on, on after that and box that in. So then we can get up, you get that floor in and stand the walls. Thanks for waiting for us. I know a lot of you are interested in this cabin build. We're gonna keep plugging away. Uh, and we're super excited getting this dry cabin in the Rocky Mountains done. And uh, so we can enjoy it. I've got our brackets for our four by four posts. I'm gonna try to attempt to do a wet set in the wet concrete with those. Finally, the family has arrived. <laughs> Obviously the brains have arrived. Yep. Here's Kathy. Hi there. Here's Brittany. She's sick as a dog, but she's being a trooper and she's out here anyway. Here's Doug. Speaking of all that weather we've had with all the extreme rains this spring, he's been pumping out his place and his neighbor's place from a bunch of standing water. So now he gets to come help me. We can't overwork muscle boy here, so I'll, know, I'll do the heavy work. Doug may look skinny, but he's a superhero. What are you carrying, okay. babe? Um, Just a little one? This is about all I, the fat kid can handle. <laughs> Running this eight footer that we'll need later for the floor joist for the deck, five foot straight out. That'll be our line to drop our pole, our, our corner post for the edge of the deck on this left side. Well, we'll do the same thing on the other side, but now we can dig a hole. I always leave the line because that's actually the mark. Okay. One hour later, I may be slow, but I'm thorough. <laughs> the pro over here. I'm the Joe. He's the pro. Pros and Joes. Thank you. 
we got a square. This is the outside rim joist that um, we might take down in a little bit, but we're just using it to do layout for our post and make things hopefully simpler working on this hillside. All right, Doug, what about that right there? All right, that's fine for a start, I think, don't you? And we're going 36 inches deep. Code here is 24 inches. But because we're so far downhill, and these are our front line of defense on the angle here, Doug and I have decided we're going 36 inches deep. That'll put a foot of cement above ground. Getting down there, I'm gonna clean this out a little bit so that sauna tube will be straight in there and plumb. Yeah, and I got files and all that to file it, keep it tight if I need to. So, okay. yeah. We're off, huh? No. I mean, I think so right here. No, it needs to be in the center, so I need, that's how I gotta adjust this. So let it, let it drape over so it'll be right in the corner. It needs to come this way a little bit. You can time me with a calendar. <laughs> hey, Doug, I'm moving so slow, I'm leaving a slug trail. Lost my tape measure, don't know where it hit, rolled downhill. Oh, it's in the creek again. Seriously? <laughs> it's just sinking, yeah. Totally yeah. sinking. Yeah. Camping it, getting out the air bubbles. So we're uh, digging the last hole of the main four footers right now. And we'll see how we end up on concrete. Hope we have enough. We got to do a fifth footer for our uh, stairwell. So we may have to get a little more concrete. We'll see how we end up. Um, we got two more holes. We got one to fill with cement and then this one here. So come along. If you want to tamp this, Doug, I think we might be there. Go okay. down on that, Rick, please. Can you? Yep. Okay, so let's see now. You're going to hold up there, right? Yep. Okay, stand it up. Let's go like this. Okay. okay. I'm on it. Okay, so, so now I'm going to lift it and we'll ride it up this. You can just let it sit up against the two by six. Here. Okay. And I'll slide it. Now I'll just walk it up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now. Let's see here. That's, that's crooked and dog's hind leg up there. So right now I want to be square in this corner. Is that right? I'm going to put one screw in. Okay. Not out. In. Okay. okay. Now we'll see where it's left. Okay. I can lift this up. I've already done it. Okay. So I can push oh, up. Cool. Cool. Okay. 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 And now. Uh, and then we can re. We kind of squint out towards the outside creek edge. Able to get it where it needs to be with that bolt. Though. You want me to torque it out? Okay, Rick. Yep, that's plumbing a minute right now. Okay. Right there. Pretty much. Right there. Okay. Right. Well, a little. Okay. Right you know there. what, Rick? Yep. Drift well. We can spin this thing yet too. Okay. So we're close, right? We are close right there, and then right here is uh, right. Back towards the trail more. Okay, but right there. Right. Yeah. Okay. Just right let it go. Just let it go. Yep. Because I think this is going to move. Okay. So just let it sit right there. Okay. You're going to let that set in? Yeah. 
Okay. Because this is and twisted out, but we can unscrew this tomorrow. So we'll be able to yeah. tweak it. I am yeah. yeah, I see that we're totally, yeah. we're so close that we'll be able to manipulate. You hold the level, because I can muscle this dog once we get it. Am I setting it, we're setting it on that? First. Well, yeah, so it's like on the edge, so oh, the bolt doesn't. Oh, okay. Because oh, we have that bolt. That really helps. Okay, I know. That's why. Yeah, I, yeah. That's why. I yeah, it's kind of a pain. Okay. Huh? Just go in first. <laughs> Just go in the cement yeah. randomly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right in not, the middle. Not randomly. Yeah, yeah. randomly. <laughs> kind of try to make oh, it. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Uh, oh, right there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm going to put a screw in. Go ahead. I should have put one in before. I don't know. We're different with pushing cement out. Um. Uh, right. You watch this line here. I want to be right there. Are you on the line? Oh. Supposed to be in the cement? Look, Whoa. I'm holding Yeah, the... that's okay. Okay, what is? Okay. The fact that I'm okay. tearing this up? Okay. Hold on. Oh, hold on. I'm just going to sit it. Ready? Yeah. It's going in her arm. I was looking for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on that line, right? Yeah. Nope. Wait, I need to go that way. Okay, you know what? Why can't I put into the screw? Of course I will. Now, that's real good. That's real good. Okay. Now, okay. it'll smooth out. All right. That is not that the way to do that. A little more. Right there, Doug. Right there. Okay. okay. So that way. It's going down in now. Come towards the house. Good. That's a good thing. Yeah. Towards the creek. You there probably there. don't want to do this again. Like this. You think? You ready, Rick? Yeah. I'm thinking that's good enough for government work. Well, today we got a lot done. We got these four footers poured and we got all the brackets in. We checked plumbing level and the string line. We did a wet mount for those uh, expansion lags. So a lot easier than the way we did it last time. So we got those in. We're gonna let these sit for a couple days, make sure they aren't green like last time and they set up really well. Tomorrow we're gonna be working on the floor, get the flooring in, get that handled. Okay, so what you can see here is we've got our posts in. I'm on the hill here. It's pretty slick, still a little muddy. You see we got all of our deck posts in and we got them anchored well on our cement footers. And we did brace this. The reason we have a gap here on our 4x4s is for a nice aperture for our six foot window to take in the view from the cabin once it's done. This was a challenge getting these on this downhill side. It's a real steep hill. Still a little muddy as you can see. So we did a nice cross brace here to really secure it. You see we got a double rim joist up here for extra security on this deck since it's a 16 foot run. And we got all our joists in on the deck. I gotta put a couple joist hangers in still. But let's take a look at the underbelly. That was the hardest and worst part of the whole deal in the rain. Let's take a look. All right, so what you can see here is we got our pressure treated underbelly on to keep the critters out from stealing our insulation and bugs. And boy, this was a bear. We were actually putting this on in the rain. We had to cut everything to fit all these posts and around the posts so that was a challenge we started with screws and we came back and secured it really well with the nail gun as you can see here we put a lot of expanding foam around all of our gaps to keep everything out where we had our braces and our posts we got more over there and uh, we tried to do that everywhere we had any little gap where we had to trim for our, mem our cross members braces and whatnot this is on and on well so we're happy with the underbelly here we had to keep that tarp on our finished floor to keep our insulation dry in our cracks here. Got a little moisture in there already, but now that's gonna stay dry for a while, it's gonna get warm. We got a lot of airflow under here too that'll really dry this out well. I got pressure treated on the bottom and top. A little overkill here. But uh, we got a lot done. Got the finished floor on. Got our trusses on our deck and our deck posts in in plumb and level. So it's pretty exciting.